interest of foreign capital in foreign interest and it is business friendly governance all about which excludes the dearest ones Look at Bhagwan, and you have to decide who he represents. As we have seen the daydreaming, the ironies, ironies of disguise. and so on piya ga rangoon it is 12 tonight a sex peer and comedy i have to discuss I am using the musicality of Indian cinema for twelfth uh, the night, and uh, Piya Ga Rangoon would be uh, the theme song as uh, uh, it's the character of NRI class caste 
rulers who rule Indian masses. Comedy theme song this time in India and Malvolios, the porter in Twelfth Night would not spare anyone, anything. Uh, Malvolio would not spare anything, anyone. Mind you, United States of America roots in Puritan movement uh, back home in England and it is in uh, it is rooted in Puritanism and we inherit this Puritanism, this Malvolio phenomenon from the colonial rule. I have to discuss England in 16th and 17th century, the Puritan movement the chaos and the hate campaign and the love as well and we live in modern times and the British ruled India for no less than 200 years and the British Raj gifted us with Permanent Land Settlement Act which produce this class caste rulers from Jamidaris, dynasties and Riyasate and they rule us and they always visit to Rangoon and we the masses have to sing this song Pia Gai Rangoon and it is not telephone, it is live telecast which we enjoy and it is all about Indian parliamentary system. And uh, now, now, I want to show something like it is Indian Parliament life. You can look into the procedure and proceedings of Indian Parliament. Again, free market economy has to open the curtain. Never mind, we have to bear with it. It is digital India. Now, an extremely reprocedural and federal provision, plus seven of the amended section 40 of the Income Tax Act, which has made any levy government by the way of privilege fee. Earlier recorded. And now, it is the video we mean most. Baba Sahib Ambedkar Bahumukha Pregna Salivani, Congress Adhikshra Lusoni Agandhi Anar. Raja Nadinot Sopratya Kacharchalo Ame Maat Kader. Baba Sahib Ambedkar Bahumukha Pregna Salivani, Congress Adhikshra Lusoni Agandhi Anar. राजा ने दिनों सोपाते का चर्चा लो आमे मार कर डर आमदेश का प्रतिबंध घुटन ची कांग्रेस पार्टी ए आये ने राज्य अंग निर्माण समिति लो सब भी निचे सी ननी सोनी आना इट इस अंबेडकर एंड गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया सेलिब्रेटेड कंस्टिट्यूशन डे लास्ट डे उन्नीस सो उन्नीस की सुबह जब संविधान का प्रारूप औपचारिक रूप से स्वीकार किया गया तब संविधान सभा के अध्यक्ष डॉक्टर राजेंद्र प्रसाद ने डॉक्टर अंबेडकर की प्रशंसा करते हुए कहा था 
उन्हें प्रभु समिति में रखी और इसका अध्यक्ष बनाने से बेहतर और सही फैसला हो ही नहीं सकता था उन्होंने उन्होंने न केवल अपने चयन के साथ न्याय किया है बल्कि उसे अलौकिक भी किया है कांग्रेस पार्टी के अनुशासन का ही कमाल था संविधान सभा के समक्ष संविधान के प्रमुख को अवध रूप से प्रस्तुत किए जाने के समक्ष पर कांग्रेस पार्टी का हक बनता इट इज द क्लेम अबाउट द लीगेची लीगेची ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड आई वॉन्ट टू शो यू समथिंग डिफरेंट समथिंग क्वाइट डिफरेंट डिफरेंट एंड इट इज इट वुड बी पर एप्स शॉकिंग look how the parliament behaves it is the memory of yet another day and it is very common mind you it is the common scenario we have to witness in indian parliament and uh, it is the theme of shakespeare and drama 12th night it is it is i go directly to 12th night it is 12th night quite a shakespeare in op- uh, opening my brother is in elysium the chance to be proud what can you say it is for chance that you yourself will say oh my lord so the chance to be true no, madam a comfort in it chat to show yourself after our ship meets me. When you and those poor numbers sailed with you hung on our driving boat, I saw your brother, whose providence in peril binding up, courage and hope both beating in the back. He was strong master, and lived upon the sea. My life was lying on the dolphin's back, I saw him hold the crate and the way, so long as I could say. For saying so, there's gold. My name is Steve Van Fogel, and I hope that you have a successful authority. Knowest thou this country? Madam Well, for I was bred and born of the hour's travel from this very place. For God's sake. No rebuke, in nature as in me. What is his name? What's he know? I've seen it. I've heard my father name him. He was a bachelor. Who is now? 
It was so very late, but about a month ago I went from hence, and then to fishing mama, as you know what great ones do, the less you will tackle out, he did seek the love of fair Olivia. Was she? But she was made. The daughter of a count that died some twelve months since, and leaving her in the protection of his son, the brother, who shortly also died. Who's the love, they say she hath a good the sight and company of men. Oh, I I might not be delivered to the world till I have made my own occasion known what my state is. That were hard to compass, because she will admit no kind of suit. No not with you. There is a fair behaviour in you, Captain. And though that nature with a beauteous will that oft flows in a pollution, yet of thee I will believe thou hast the mind that suits with this thy fair and outward carriage. I pray thee and I'll pay thee bounty to me. Conceal me what I am, and be my aid, for such desires as haply shall become the form of my intent. I'll serve this duke. Thou shalt present me as an unit to him. It may be worth thy pains, for I can sing and speak to him in many sorts of music that will allow me very worthy service. What else may that? The time I have come. And shape thou thy silence to my wit. Be you his eunuch, and your mute I'll be. When my tongue blabs, then let my eye not say. Mm -hmm. I will come back right into the relevant scenes hereafter. Let we, uh, let us discuss about uh, Twelfth Night right away. Political scenario and uh, monopolistic aggression against humanity and nature. Political scenario and monopolistic aggression against Political scenario and monopolistic aggression against humanity and nature might be the best elements of comedy as well as tragedy. Because it blasts the because it blasts the purity as well as the Puritan. It is art, the art of drama, the art of theater. Now it is activism of creativity. Tragedy it is. The politics is not only comedy, it is tragedy because the catharsis resembles in resultant holocaust and bloodshed. Hence, I am discussing Shakespearean comedy, Twelfth Night, the reign of Elizabeth I of England from 1558 to 1603, so the rise of the Puritan movement in England. 
it's clashed with the authorities of the Church of England and its temporarily effective suppression in the 1590s by severe judicial means. 12th night is very, very important in this context and even in the context of modern times when we see the reject, rejection of Puritan institutional fascism all on the name of religion. But here we don't see any revolt whatsoever against the religious hegemony or political hegemony or class caste hegemony and hence we have the contrast. Twelfth night relies on the devices of dramatic irony and uh, twinning to capture the attention of the audience. The comedy is usual in its use of melancholic music in contrast and quite contradictory to Indian music which is melodious and our folk uh, musicality. It is British. English in character. We face the same dramatic irony of Twelfth Night seen through gender reversal and ethnic cleansing, the genocide culture, disguise and mistaken identity, identities hidden in suited, booted, attacked, and a faceless carnival of politics, self-destruction. And this mistaken identity exposes its character's intolerance, daydreaming and ambitious involvement to create chaos, chaos and anarchy and it is the agenda Occupy global order, occupy global order and it is the religious nationalism, blind religious nationalism. Thus, British history repeats its, itself in a democracy as if from the British Raj in India after continuous a struggle by our forefathers, the freedom fighters. The, Purit the Puritans have got the helms of neoliberal governance and they end in institutional fascism in disguise of religious nationalism and we see the gender reversal in ideological mel mel melody and mistaken and mistaken and mistaken identities in bulk to play havoc on freedom, fundamental rights, constitution and democracy. And here we celebrate Constitution Day. The Constitution is killed. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar has been hijacked. And the constitution has been killed. The killers of the constitution celebrate the constitution day. The constitution day is hijacked. It is total reformist degeneration which happens to be racist at the same time with inherent hierarchical caste system, patriarchal dynasty rule and at the same time the hell losing and it is 
the puritan cares which wants to modify everything which wants to modify the nation which wants to modify the culture the values the ideals tolerance into intolerance plural pluralism into singular race dominance and it is called religion which and uh, it is puritan movement which does not revolt against the religious authority the institutional fascism of religion it is then the puritans were a group of Engl english reform uh, reformed protestants in the 16th and 17th centuries who sought to purify the church of england from all roman catholic practices maintaining that the church of england was only partially reformed puritans were also accused of being power hungry uh, as we see in india nowadays in all over this geopolitics in all over the uh, developed uh, 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 underdeveloped and developing geopolitics and marvelous secret social ambitions fit the bill puritans were also accused of being hungry and we see it uh, all over again and uh, marvelous secret social ambition fit the bill fit the vocal scenario historians have noted that america took from in the womb of england this truth is overlooked but extremely important as we happen to be the prominent partner in the war against terror yet another crusade and this crusade is fought in india transformed into a infinite crusade and the nation a mahabharat it is the modified puritan movement by the religion of purity untouchability exclusion and ethnic cleansing when we look deeper into the body of english history in the 1950s we can certainly make out within it the embryo of new breed of people men the americans who would later rule the global order the galaxy this new breed of people were within the puritan movement in england it was within embryo of a new breed of people the americans the rulers the class and caste rulers and hence i have to discuss 12th uh, night at the same time a certain company of christian activists were beginning to stare and kick within the england english mother at the same time a certain company of christian activists were beginning to stare and kick within within the english mother country these were the people who sparked the english reformation as a result of their zeal and their commitment to reform and to purify the church of england they would come to be known as puritans it is something like the agenda of occupy the global order occupy the global order occupy the global order and it is all about the hindutva agenda it is all about the reforms pushed for free market economy thus we catch malbolio they dreaming about marrying 
countess Olivia like daydreaming to make the nation free from other religion and race. It is called love and passion for religion in a, uh, in a state of a lady Olivia. Lest we should learn that uh, Mel Malvolio daydream to change everything mythically and it is the myth, myth, the myth of false gods and goddesses, the myth of idol worshipping, replacing the Vedic culture and they call it Vedic and they celebrate non-Vedic ethnic cleansing, they behave in accordance the Manusmriti rule which uh, began just after the demise of Buddhist India in a counter-revelation. And the Indian Puritans have no complaint against this caste and class hegemony. Rather, they have provoked Puritanism British in character which we inherit from colonial rule to destroy Indian humanity, the nature the democracy, the welfare state, the economy and the production system. Lest we should learn that Malavia, Malavolio, they dream to change everything mythically has less to do with love of religion. It has nothing to do with Hindu. It is nothing to do with the morals, values, ideals of religion. It is nothing to do with the faith and the people who bank on this faith in the religion. It is religious polarization. It is not religion at all in no way. And it is not a reformist movement at all. It is a fascist movement and it is institutional fascism and it intends occupy global order. And it is it. The United States of America has not been wiped out by ISIS, Al-Qaeda or Taliban, mind you. The terror strikes would not change the geopolitics, the American or European geopolitics despite the destruction, despite the terror, ultimate danger is institutional fascism, this Puritan reformist agenda occupy the global order and it would delay the American hegemony, the British tradition, the developed world as well, the developing and the underdeveloped world, it is the full-fledged Kalki Avatar and I am <coughs> going back to the tune once again to our theme song. <laughs>
yes it is and you should get it what i want to say you have to get it everything might not be explained i have discussed the puritan movement and i would be including the visuals and uh, the details in the text it looks it feels hot what does mal malvolio's power fantasy look like just to rename and reset all the places of worship please remember babri mosque demolition remember the operation blue star demolition of swarna mandir opting for ethnic cleansing please remember gujarat genocide Gujarat killings, Nelly genocide, and Sikh genocide, and genocide culture launching and relaunching Holocaust and uh, bloodshed since 15th August 1947. Time and again, it is not a story of comedy. Twelfth night, which involves religious ritual. which also involves religious uh, ritual in united kingdom people used to have parties on 12th night and it was traditional to play practical jokes on your friends and never as we do in india and it is called the festival of colors the holi and 12th night is something like a holi and the people turn hulia like in our uttarakhand and they play practical jokes and the jokes provoke provoking chaos and sometimes violence also this include tricks such as hiding live birds in an empty pie case so that the they flew away whenever uh, startled uh, guests cut open the curtains uh, as in the nursery uh, nursery rhyme sing a song of six pens goes the pie was open and the birds began to sing it is twelfth night all about twelfth night ritual also known as wassail if traditionally a time when a twelfth night cake is baked and a time for wasseling wasseling is the celtic custom of sharing baked apples and cider the first celtic festival of the year kashmiri ready dedications are affirmed for one's spiritual path and we are seeking salvation well it involves wearing fancy clothes bossing around the servants and playing moral cop to sir toby's bad guy mal it is 12th night malvolio seems to be punished as much for his moral hotness the puritanism as for his social climbing fantasies and all the indians who the indians play malvolio in our fantasies we we uh, we day dream to change the system and we do everything to sustain the system we day dream to annihilate the caste and we are engaged to strengthen the caste every moment and in that sense not only the polity political uh, malvolio 
the Indian citizenship is a Malvolio phenomenon and it is all about daydreaming and the democracy itself has been reduced to daydreaming as the parliament life. And we have witnessed the chaos life and it is the parliamentary character of consensus, consensus for the reforms, consensus for killing the constitution and they celebrate the constitution day and they worship Dr. B. R. Ambedkar who had been pleading for annihilation of caste and they are not interested at all. Even the Ambedkarites and though huge Ambedkar as an ATM and uh, have uh, turned themselves uh, 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 in, uh, um, uh, into uh, the clan of uh, billions and billions of dollars and pound future. They are also Mongolia. We have the same sort of Puritans creating the reforms, uh, reformist tsunami as they have to purify everything and never hesitate to shed blood to partition the country yet again. It is quite interesting that Malvolio is the steward, head servant to Lady Olivia, the romantic lady. Then Malvolia poses a Puritan as we witness Puritan tsunami these days which seems to be rather a fatwa tsunami against criticism of Puritan ideology ideology and politics mixed, remixed with free mar market economy, institutional fascism and blind religious nationalism. London witnessed this Puritan Malvolio Brotherhood making a chaos in English life just after Twelfth Night was fled and theaters were shut down. I repeat, London witnessed this Puritan Malvolio Brotherhood making a chaos in English life just after Twelfth Night was fled and uh, theaters in London were shut down and they are doing exactly the same thing. The freedom to speech is denied. Freedom to expression is denied. Flow of information is denied to ensure the free flow of foreign capital. Total privatization total disinvestment, total FDI Raj. It is the same thing, same phenomena in which theatres were shut down in London. Elizabethan era is described as golden age in British history. As the rewritten history of India might add, the most golden era of this institutional fascism as the neoliberal age of institutional fascism, which claims to be pure and despises everything which is not in accordance with their ethics, faith or moral ideals, thus freedom of expression banned and intensive hate campaign kills the love. The Puritan culture should be treated as the comedy of tragedy which is all about wealth night by Shakespeare. Indian people might be personified as the lady love who sings for absent Pia, Pia Gai Rangoon. Here I play it again and it is very important the theme song. <coughs> Free market again.
captured by pirates yes piya gaya rangoon wahan se ek kiya telephone and it is not telephone it is live telecast as well as live stream flowing into social media flowing into social network uh, net, uh, networking captured by puritans who had nothing against the class caste rule or the religious hegemony mind you which had nothing against class caste rule or political economic and religious authorities rather they do everything 
to sustain the manusmriti rule here you are here you are it is it is which has nothing against puritans who who rather it, it would be who who have nothing against class caste rule or political economic and religious authorities rather they do everything they do everything to sustain the manusmriti rule here you are ambedkar reincarnated as vishnu bhagwan and constitution day celebrated officially to kill the constitution itself here you are ambedkar reincarnated as vishnu bhagwan and constitution day celebrated officially to kill the constitution itself back to it seems that the eternal truth about the business friendly governance as the fdi leadership rose the masses from this or that foreign land and khabardar you dare not criticize i am not to focus on incidents and examples we do enjoy the comedy as well as the tragedy with blind faith and keep mum those who speak the lot of fools visit and revisit the most vocal scenario act of exclusion and execution as well we already know the names involved back to 12th night malbolia remains a big time hater and criticize criticize just about everything tobis partying lifestyle festers licensed fooling and all other forms of fun his party pooper ways and constant tattle telling place a big jean bulls eye on his back he is just asking for trouble and that is exactly what he gets when he is duped into behaving like a madman to win the favor of lady olivia back to puritan movement in accordance to wiki in naya 1553 at what six died and his catholic half sister assumed the throne as mary one of england mary sought to end the english reformation and restore the church of england 
to a full commune with Church of Rome and instituted repression later known as Marian persecutions. It shows Thomas Kramer and other prominent English Protestants burned at the stake. Roughly 800 English Protestants, the Marian exile, left the country for religious reasons. Unwelcome in German Lutheran territories, they established English Protestant congregations in Emden, Wessel, Frankfurt, Strasbourg, Zurich, Basel, Geneva, and Arau. Most of these churches continued to follow the 1552 Book of Common Prayer, but the Frankfurt congregation under the leadership of John Coxus, Coxus a liturgy drawn up to Knox, known as the Book of Common Order, according to which the clergy did not wear vestment. The Frankfurt congregation was at odds with other English Marian exiles. In 1558, Queen Mary died, and her half sister Elizabeth became Queen of England. Elizabeth had been raised as a Protestant in the household of Catholic Park. During the first year of Elizabeth's reign, many of the Marian exiles returned to England. A compromise religious position established in 1559 is now known as the Elizabethan Religious Settlement. It attempted to make England Protestant without totally alienating the portion of the population that had supported Catholicism under Mary. The settlement was consolidated in 1563, an interim position of 18 Articles of Faith operated for a few years. The Church of England under Elizabeth was broadly reformed in nature. Elizabeth's first Archbishop of Canterbury, <coughs> Matthew Parker, had been the executor of Martin Bruce's will, and his replacement, Edmund Grindel, had carried the coffin <coughs> the Bruce's. Funeral. I have included <coughs> the detail and <coughs> uh, the future uh, reform uh, in the 1560s was the basis of what is now known as the Puritan movement. It is very important to understand the institutional fascism in India. Now, <coughs> We have to go through the American <coughs> outlook. My name is William Hopper, and together with my brother Kenneth, I have written a book called The Puritan Gift, Triumph, Collapse and Revival of an American Dream. It is a history of American managerial culture starting way back in the 1630s with the Puritan migration, passing on through the 18th and 19th century to the... Puritan America roots in Puritanism, my dear. And our institutional fascism also roots in Puritanism. And leading up to the present time and to a severe deterioration in that culture. But at the same time, the great original culture passed across the Pacific to Japan under the U.S. occupation of Japan, which ran from 1945 to 1952. Um, it was transplanted into Japan and was at the root of the Japanese managerial revolution, which led to the great Japanese economic miracle, which passed to the so-called tiger economies, Malaysia, Korea, South Korea, it is, Taiwan, Singapore, and so forth. It is about the rise of Japan, the roots of Japan. Uh, something like 30% uh, of mainland China's exports are made by companies owned or affiliated to Taiwanese, which is an astonishing statistic considering how small Taiwan is and how big China is. The culture of which the Chinese have inherited 
uh, still carries many of the characteristics of the original Puritanism of the 1630s. Our book is a love poem to America written in non-technical language. Now we're discussing on British Puritan so movement. History is not mere history for me at all. This is living, live, true theology that's life-changing. Is there anything you trust over scripture, or is scripture the supreme authority that trumps all things? And how to be saved? Is there anything I may bring to the table, something that I need to contribute that will make me acceptable before God? We're going to be getting to know some great Christian thinkers, men like William Tyndale, Richard Sibbs, Thomas Goodwin, and through seeing history, we'll get to see God's extraordinary providential arrangement of kings, queens, scholars, great movements of countries. In 1516, Erasmus produced an edition of the Greek New Testament. He certainly thought it would cause no harm to Rome whatsoever. He even dedicated it to the Pope. Tyndale had been reading Erasmus New Testament quite a bit. He said, Evangelion, that we call the Gospel, is a Greek word, and it signifies good, merry, glad, joyful tidings that make a man's heart glad, make him sing, dance, leap for joy. Now, quite simply, nobody else talked like that. Tyndale had come to see that God freely declares sinners to be righteous, and that was a doctrine of comfort and joy. That he, a failing sinner, was perfectly loved by God, clothed with the perfect righteousness of Christ himself. Now I I would uh, um, uh, I conclude uh, my uh, video talk and I would show Looking the clippings the only from uh, direct from 12th night. <laughs> it is 12th night at 2 in 3. <laughs> I think it is one good then. We are pleased that they will be there in Missouri, so that they will be at half of the night, it's the middle of the times. And this is all right, it consists of the war in the loops. I know not. I don't think it consists of eating and drinking. But thou art a scholar, let us therefore eat and drink. Money in a day, stupid wine. It comes to food. I know not. I have included the text of this twelfth night act to sin three. Not know what is love is not hereafter. 
Present fun and present laughter. You'd still stop, we hear not in June. You'd still stop, we hear not in June. I'm a little spice and I'm a true man. I'm a dangerous friend. Hey, to hear my nose, it is toxic and contagious. But shall we make the welcome dance indeed? Shall we roll the night hour and the test of who rolls me so down the one we go? Shall we do it? I will not be next to it. I am the dog. Well, ladies, there are some dogs, but it counts well. Excellent. Come, then I catch your game. Hold thy peace. I'll never be peace by hold thy peace. Oh, excellent. Hold thy peace thou me. 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
that as the typical position for him. If I could make that resemble something in me. M O A R. <laughs> now, Malia, why not begin with my name? Did I not say he would work it out? <laughs> then there is no consonancy in the sequence of subtle information. A should follow, no doubt. And O shall end, I hope. I, or I'll cut you and make you cry. No! M O A R. <laughs> Every one of these letters is in my name. <laughs> if I <laughs> if this fall into thy hand, revolt. Oh, dear, I do. 